Aquaculturists depend on reliable, high-performing, and energy-efficient aeration systems for the survival and the success of their farm operations. There are four major aeration types available to aquaculturists that are being tested here. Aeration Industries 100,000 gallon research and development test pool offers a unique opportunity to see these four types of aerators in action above and below the water surface through underwater glass windows. Below the water's surface, tack marks are visible and extend to a depth of eight feet. Across the bottom, a plastic jug has been placed at a distance of 10 feet away from the aerator. Destratification is of utmost importance to all aquaculture species. It creates a healthier environment that leads to increased size, increased survival rates, and thus increased profits to aquaculturists. The first aerator being tested is an Aero 2 Series 2 aerator manufactured by Aeration Industries International Incorporated of Chaska, Minnesota in the United States of America. The Aero 2 aerator has multiple adjustable angles for shallow to deep ponds. Here, the aerator is placed into the water at a 45 degree angle. Please notice the depth as well as the distance and area of distribution that's provided by the Aero 2 aerator. Its area of influence reaches a depth of 8 feet and a width of over 10 feet wide. The velocity rate of the plume can be measured by the constant rocking of the water jug, which is positioned at a distance 10 feet away from the aerator. The Aero 2 aerator meets the United States Environmental Protection Agency's definition of a fine bubble aerator. The importance of bubble size and hang time are critical to efficient oxygen transfer rates and oxygen dispersion. The longer a bubble stays in water, the greater the opportunity that bubble has to become dissolved oxygen, or DO. Destratification is accomplished when a pond is thoroughly aerated and completely mixed from top to bottom. Aerating the bottom of ponds is important to species like shrimp because they are bottom dwelling. Thorough mixing of the pond aids in the control of animal and feed waste, which keeps ponds cleaner and decreases the risk of disease and mortality. Multiple Aero 2 aerators positioned strategically create the important flow linkage, which provides even greater oxygen-rich water and mixing to the entire pond. Here is an underwater view of the Aero 2 aerator in action. Notice how smooth and steady the water flows from the hollow shaft and is dispersed by the propeller into the water. This perfect vacuum is the result of over one million United States dollars of research into the Aero 2 propeller product line. The result is a smooth operation with no vibration or cavitation, ensuring a long lifespan and minimal maintenance. This second aerator shown is an Asian-made copy of the Aero 2 aerator. This type of aerator uses a marine type propeller that is designed to propel or push water instead of creating an optimum vacuum of oxygen-rich fine bubbles. Immediately, you'll notice that the entire sphere of influence of its area is not even half the area of influence of the Aero 2 aerator. Underwater, these differences are accentuated even more. Although these units may look alike, there is a remarkable difference in performance and workmanship. This unit struggles to achieve aeration at only a depth of four feet. Also, the distance of which it disperses aeration is hardly that of the Aero 2 aerator. Look at the water jug. It lies stagnant and motionless. And notice the amount of turbulence and air leakage as the propeller spins. This results in poor oxygen dispersion and cavitation. This cavitation causes extreme vibration and stress, as well as wear and tear on parts and on the motor of this unit, which leads to mechanical failures and a shorter lifespan. 
After viewing this Asian-made aerator's performance underwater, it's clear that this copy does not match up to the original Arrow 2 aerator's superior performance. The third unit is the common paddle wheel aerator 